it's becoming part of a movie. You can show to the patient what diseases are. You are dreaming about worlds you have entered. I was always impressed by the architecture of the eyes. I am Peter Maloka. I work here at Morpheus Eye Hospital as a research fellow for medical retina. I did a lot of histology, so you cut tissue and you have a two-dimensional imaging of the sections, but you can do that only once. Quite often you lose information when you look on 2D images. And I wanted always to touch these images with my eyes. So my motivation was then to change the situation from 2D to 3D. And now we have it. We can not only look at it, but we can walk through it. Optical coherence tomography is a new imaging technology that uses laser light. The patient doesn't feel anything and it's extremely detailed. So we are now on a level of microns. The patient is putting his chin on the chin rest. Then the camera is moved to the eye. There's a fixation target he has to look on. It's a blinking light, but the laser normally is a little red line scanning the eye, but not disturbing the patient. The result is then a cross-sectional image of the posterior part of the eye, of the retina. You obtain then 3D stacks, and these 3D stacks represent then a new kind of imaging of your eye. And this is absolutely amazing. The potential of VR in medical science is communication. We can now have an arena where different parties can join. I could show the data in a VR arena and invite my friend from New York or from Paris and get advice from people who are much brighter than we are to the benefit of the patient. For students or for patients it's much easier because they encounter an eye from inside like they are walking in the mountains and then you can explain the situation to a patient and the understanding is very intuitive because you are part of that information. The models themselves, are, apart from being exquisitely beautiful, uh, have helped us um, conceptualise the anatomy in ways we couldn't for, with traditional 2D atlases. And with the techniques that Peter's been using, we can really now start to understand the structures of the eyes and and help understand the importance of them both in research and for uh, clinical applications. What we did is not the work of one person. And so I'm really so proud of the team we have from art, from computer science, from anatomy. So winning the Welcome Image Award means more than anything else to me. It's not only for me, but for my team. And for me, it's a recognition of sharing a passion for the beauty of the human body. And the hope is that we understand the disease much better by better imaging. <laughs>